Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some ways you can save money next time you're buying some makeup. So I have quite a few tips for you guys, different sales you may or may not be aware of. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so first of all, I feel like most people are aware of the Sephora VIP sale. I feel like when you think of makeup sales, that's what pops into everyone's mind. But I'm here to tell you, I think the Sephora VIB sale is overrated, okay? The savings are not that significant. Depending on your status and depending on which sale it is, you might be saving between 10 and 20%, but it's not that significant. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about ways to save more like 50% off on some of these products. I mean, I do think the Sephora VIB sale is definitely a good chance to get products that you may have had your eye on and kind of been sitting in your cart or on your loves list, but there's some better ways to save money in this video. So let's talk about the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, which I think is a lot better. Here's the thing, with the Sephora sale, you can buy anything you want and get the discount. The Ulta 21 Days of Beauty just focuses on specific products, but if these are products you had in mind, I think it's a great time to get it because they're usually up to 50% off. So I end up doing a video about this every year, actually two videos. I usually do one for the spring sale and for the fall sale if I get the chance to film them. So they usually do one around May and then one around September. And every day they have a couple products that are up to 50% off. Now, a lot of people know about that sale, but what a lot of people don't know about is Ulta does two other big sales in a similar format. They do a skin focused one and a hair focused one. So next time you are in the need for either of those categories, wait until the sale. Like the skin one just happened and then they also do the hair one. So if you get the Ulta catalog, which I don't always recommend, or like the emails, because sometimes they can be a little tempting. But if you get them, that's a nice way to keep up with when the sales are gonna be if you are looking to get products at a discounted price. But going back to Sephora, I know I said that the VIB sale is not that fantastic, and honestly, I don't think that their reward system is that fantastic either. But one thing that I really like about Sephora is that they have beauty offers that you can always add. So I'm gonna show you guys on Ulta's, <coughs> Sephora's website how you can pick the beauty offers. So whenever you're checking out, I always recommend doing this, especially if you love minis and sample size products, you can go in and they always have a ton of different minis that are available and you can pick out one that you want and then type in the code at checkout and then get a bonus mini. So these are basically the same like size products that you would be getting for your point perks, but you get them just for using the code. So that's really simple and a lot of people don't realize that you can do that. So, and a lot of times they're offering like the newest products. I was on Sephora the other day and I saw that they were giving the Fenty mascara in a little sample. So if you wanna try the newest products, maybe in a little sample size, check out the beauty offers. Now, I think a lot of people like to shop exclusively at Ulta and Sephora because they like to get their rewards points. And I get it, I do think that's a smart way to go if those retailers carry everything that you're interested in and the brands that you purchase from. Like I said, I think Ulta's reward system is a little bit better than Sephora's, but I like purchasing directly from brand websites. And a lot of people don't choose to do this, but in my experience, brands have way better sales than Ulta and Sephora do. So one brand that I can think of that does a lot of sales is Too Faced. Like they always have sales going on on their website. If you go on there, they're like, purchase this, get this for free. So whenever you're shopping, I would always look at both retailers, say, you know, maybe I could get it at Sephora, but what does the actual brand have to offer? It might be a case by case thing. Maybe the shipping is not as great if you buy it from the brand. Maybe you wanna purchase from other brands also and just do one big haul from Ulta or Sephora, but I do recommend checking out brand websites. And I wanna share a couple of my favorite brands that constantly do sales. All of these brands, like they do 50% off sales multiple times a year. So the first one is e.l.f. And I know e.l.f. is already a pretty affordable brand, so you don't necessarily have to wait for a sale, but you can get a lot more bang for your buck if you do. So they do 50% off sales pretty frequently. I get the e.l.f. emails. I know they do them at least twice a year, but it feels like way more than that. And when they're not doing 50% off, they still do like 30%, 30, 40, whatever it is. But whenever I have a couple e.l.f. products that I'm interested in, I usually wait until I see that they're doing a 50% off sale and then I make my whole order all at once so that I can save a little bit. Of course, I recommend being careful with that. Don't throw items in your cart just because they're on sale. But I think if you are already interested in them, wait until they do 50% off. Another brand that does this, again, twice a year is The Balm. So if you love The Balm, you're like me, you love the Mad Lash Mascara, but you don't necessarily want to pay full price for it, wait until they do the 50% off sales. Or if you had your eye on the Mary Luminizer or their bronzer or another one of their products, they do 50% off sales. So just if you can hold out, wait until then. Another brand, I see, I've seen this brand do 50, 40, 30. Like I would never recommend paying for this brand full price because if you wait a week, they'll have a sale and that is Juvia's Place. 
Juvia's Place does sales all the time. I, in my experience, their best sales seem to happen around like Black Friday or the holidays, but truly they do them all year round. Even if they're offering like a 20% discount, I would wait because they do more. Like you can get 30, 40, 50% off their products. With Juvia's Place and some of these other brands, at times they do exclude their newest products, which makes sense. So that's something to note, but honestly, don't pay full price for Juvia's Place or Elf or The Balm. Now this next brand, I feel like they used to have a little bit better sales than they do. You guys let me know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm remembering incorrectly, but the next brand is ColourPop. While I think their sales used to be even better, I feel like they had more 50% off sales and more like buy one, get one free sales. They still do a lot of sales. That's another brand. I would not pay full price for ColourPop. First of all, so many creators have a ColourPop code. Personally, I do not, but I could think of like 10 that do. So first of all, always try to find a code, but they'll do certain types of sales. They'll say, you know, single shadows, buy one, get one free. Lip products, 30% off. So again, that's another brand that I would always wait. They do sales pretty frequently and some are better than others, but always wait for a sale with ColourPop. So of course, those are not the only brands that do sales, but those are ones that stand out to me as doing them very frequently that I think it's worth waiting for to kind of get it at a discount. But there's two resources that I wanted to recommend. This video is not sponsored, but I feel like these are important to know and I use both of them. The first one is Rakuten, which used to be named Ebates. Ebates does a ton of sponsored videos. This is not sponsored, I just said that, but I wanna make it clear because I know they do a lot of them, but I always use Ebates, well, Rakuten, and you get cash back so sometimes I'll even wait until the cash back value is a little bit higher because in that sense you're still saving money getting your cash back you're just gonna save it a couple months later when you get the cash back so pretty much every site that I love they have cash back on Ulta Sephora I think they do ColourPop I think they do elf I think they do most of the ones I talked about in this video and the other one is shop tagger I have worked with them in the past this video is not in collaboration with them but with their site, you can go on to different websites and then pick out specific products and then save them. And then they'll send you an email when they're on sale. And that's happened to me before with Juvia's Place specifically. Like I said, they do sales often and they're, what was it? I think it was the Magic Palette. I was like waiting, I wanted to get it. And then Shop Tagger, let me know. Like, hey, they're having a 50% off sale right now. And I think that's a great option. If maybe you have unsubscribed from all these brands' emails, which I don't blame you because they send like 10 a day. And they can also be a little bit tempting. I think that could be an alternative if you still want to know when these products are going to go on sale without necessarily being checked into all of their mailers. Using a site like Shop Tiger will let you know that, hey, it's on sale today. So those are a few ways that stand out to me. Of course, most drugstores kind of have their own programs with different coupons. CVS stands out to me. Actually, yes, yeah, so Walgreens, no, it's CVS. CVS is the culprit. You will check out and you will have this entire like ribbon of coupons and then I end up using like one of the coupons that's such a waste but definitely utilize those as well I hope that this video was helpful for you guys if you have any other retailers that I didn't mention in this video that you think do bomb sales let us know down below I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching and if you are new to my channel I do upload four days a week my name is Kelly and I'll go ahead and see you in my next one bye